Okay class, so welcome back again and again and again sa ating part 2 ng ating online kwentuhan. Okay, so ngayon naman kung before sa ating first part ng video, pinag-usapan natin kung ano yung badminton at histories ng badminton. This time, pag-uusapan naman natin ngayon yung mga different <coughs> equipments and facilities na ginagamit sa badminton. Bakit nga ba dapat? Alam natin yung equipments and facilities na ginagamit natin sa isang sport. Okay? So, nang sa ganun, appropriate yung ginagamit natin yung equipments and facilities. Okay? Kasi may tendency na pag iba-iba yung equipments natin na ginagamit, ba? Diba? Parang ang hirap niyang laruin. Parang hindi natin alam kung paano siya execute yung game. For example, okay, sa isang badminton game, ang gamit mo na raketa ay raketa ng table tennis. Tama ba yun? Definitely no, ba? Diba? Okay, so this time pag-uusapan natin yung mga different equipments and facilities na ginagamit sa badminton. Okay, dito rin i-discuss sa inyo ni Sir RG yung mga different sizes o yung mga sukat ng um, equipments and facilities when it comes in badminton. So medyo exciting, ano? This time pag-aaralan natin yung mga different equipments under ng badminton natin, na. Tinatawag. So excited na ako, hindi ko na papataglin pa. Let's start this video in 3, 2, 1! Oops! Again, don't forget to take down your notes. Okay class, don't forget to take down notes. Nang sa ganun, meron kayong reference or meron kayong guide after ng video na ito. So in playing badminton, we have to consider the equipment and the facilities. No? Nang sa ganun, tama or appropriate yung gagawin natin dapat or yung gagamitin natin na equipments and appropriate yung dapat kung saan tayong facilities maglalaro ng badminton. Mahalaga to. Why? For example, once na outdoor kasi tayo naglaro ng badminton, may tendency na yung hangin yan, malakas, no? na matatanga yung shuttle cup. So that's why you have to consider kung saan tayo maglalaro ng badminton. As much as possible, indoor siya gawin na mayroong mataas na ceiling. No? Nang sa ganun, maging maayos lang yung game natin na badminton. So that is a, a example of different instances when it comes in badminton. So ngayon, pag-aaralan natin yung mga different equipments and facilities na meron sa badminton. Ano yung mga sizes ng equipments na to nang sa ganun, appropriate yung dapat yung mga gagamitin natin na equipments when it comes in badminton. So, let's start with the first one which is the court. Okay. So, the court is rectangular and divided into halves by a net. Court are usually marked for both singles and doubles play. Although the badminton rules permit a court to be marked for singles only. So, the doubles court is wider than the single court. But both are of the same length. The exception which often causes confusion to new players is that the double court has a shorter serve length dimension. Okay, so kung mapapansin nyo class, meron tayong tinatawag na singles and doubles. Nabanggit ko yan sa inyo kanina. So yung badminton natin meron tayong tinatawag na singles and doubles Tandaan nyo lang class Pag yung court ng singles Mas mal, mas ano siya Mas medyo maliit siya kaysa sa doubles Okay kasi sa doubles meron tayong involved na apat na players Okay while these four singles meron lang tayong dalawang players na involved Okay kaya mas malaki yung sa doubles So ito yung class yung size ng ating um, court for singles So pag sinabi natin court for singles meron lang siyang 44 feet long and 17 feet wide Okay, pag sa doubles naman, meron siyang 44 feet long and 20 feet wide. Kung mapapansin nyo, yung length ng singles and doubles ay parehas lang. Parehas lang silang 44 feet long. Pero yung wide class o yung lapad ng ating court is magkaiba. Mas makitid ng konti si singles o yung court ni singles compare sa court ni doubles dahil nga mas maraming players sa doubles. So, itong picture na to class, ano ba ito? This is a court for a single or court for doubles? 
Okay, so this is a court for doubles. Why? Kasi nga meron tayong 20 feet wide dito, no? Ayun, binibilugan ko dito class 20 feet wide, no? So mas malaki yung sukat ni doubles kesa kay singles, like what I said before. Fe pero the same lang sila ng haba, no? Pare silang 44 feet long. So that is the court of badminton. So like what I said a while ago, the official court measures 44 feet long by 22 feet wide for doubles and 44 feet long by 17 feet wide for singles. No, so dito sa ating badminton court meron tayong tinatawag na double alley. So double alleys is a one and a half feet alley on each side. This is a one and a half feet alley on each side. It is commonly referred to as a double alley. So there is also two and a half feet wide at both ends of the court, which are the back alleys. Then meron din naman tayong tinatawag na short service line. Ano yung short service line na yan? There are two service areas on each side of the net the right and the left service court bounded by a line running parallel to the net that is called short service line and class okay class another information ano? the ceiling height of our badminton court should be 30 feet for the official game and 24 feet for instructional game floor surface is traditionally wood but many synthetic and plastic courts have been developed so before ang ginagamit na court dito sa ating badminton court ay kadalasang wooden. Pero ngayon nauso na yung mga synthetic and yung mga plastic courts natin na tinatawag. So yung height or yung ceiling height ng ating um, badminton court sa official game ay 30 feet. Pero pag sa instructional game lang naman ay 24 feet lang yung taas dapat ng ating ceiling. Okay, pag official game, 30 feet and then pag instructional game naman, 24 feet dapat yung taas ng ceiling ng ating um, facilities na gagamitin sa paglalaro ng badminton. So that is the three parts of the badminton court, the double alleys, the back alleys, and the short service line. Okay, so the next equipment used in badminton is the net. Okay, so the net should be made of a dark colored mosh two and a half feet deep with a one and a half inch white tape extending across the top. So the top of the net should be five feet above the floor at a point equidistant from the side lights and five feet and one inch in height at the point above the double side line. So like what I said before, our net is made of dark colored mosh and then two and a half feet deep with a one and a half inch white tape extending across the top. So Sir RG, saan po dito yung white tape na sinasabi ninyo? Ito po siya yung nandito mismo yung line na yan, yung white line na yan na nasa ibabaw mismo ng ating net. Parang ito yung pinaka mark natin. Ano? Yan. So ito po yung white na yon. Ang sukat niya po ay one and a half inch. No? One and a half inch white tape extending across the top of the net. So the height of the net is 5 feet and 1 inch in height at the point above the double side line. So that is the net. So now let's move on to our post. O ito yung post na sa gilid ng ating net. So 5 feet and 1 inch in height from the Floor. So, ito yung post din natin na tinatawag. Another, ano to ha, another kind of post natin. Pero, post pa rin siya or post pa din siya. Iba-iba lang siya ng design. Ano? So, ito yung isang design ng post natin. Ayan. So, ulitin natin ha. Ang sukat ng post natin is 5 feet and 1 inch in height from the floor. So now let's move on to our fourth equipment use in badminton. So that is the rocket. The rocket also, this is the most important equipment used in badminton. So it is a light.
It is a light and can be made of wood, aluminum, metal, or synthetic materials such as graphic or carbon. It can be made up up to 68 centimeters long and it is usually weighs about 100 grams. So like what I said before class rocket, this is the most important equipment used in badminton. Dahil hindi ka makakapaglaro ng badminton kung wala kang raketa. Okay? So hindi magiging perfect yung badminton natin na tinatawag kung wala ka namang raketa. Kung ang meron ka lang ay net at post at court pero wala ka ng mga raketa hindi ka makakapaglaro ng badminton okay badminton rockets are lightweight with top quality rockets weighing between 70 and 95 grams okay so not including the grip or strings before the rockets were made or before the rockets are made of light materials such as aluminum earlier steel rockets were made of wood cheap rockets are still often made of materials or made of metal such as steel but wooden rockets are no longer manufactured for the ordinary market because of their excessive mass and cost. So ngayon ang nakikita na lang natin kadalasan na raketa ngayon ay mga aluminum metals ano? wala na masyadong uh, mga wooden rockets kasi nga mas mahal siya kaysa doon sa aluminum metals na mga raketa. So class based on my research, nowadays yung mga ginagamit na material such as carbon or mga carbon nanotubes and mga florins doon sa ating racket, ginagamit pala yun para nang sa ganun maging matibay yung racket natin. So yun pala yung nakakapagpadagdag ng um, durability dun sa ating racket. Mas tumitibay yung raketa natin dahil sa mga materials na yun. Pero mas maganda sana na kung wooden yung um, magamit natin kasi yun yung nakasanayan before. Eh, no? Parang sarap lang sa feeling siguro kung ang matray natin yung mga wooden racket. No? Pero... Okay na din yung synthetic rocket na um, ano natin na ginagamit sa ngayon. Okay, so that is the rocket when it comes in badminton. Okay class, so now let's move on to the parts of the rocket. So ituturo ni Sir RG kung ano-ano ba yung mga different parts na meron ng isang raketa. Okay, so mag-start tayo dito from dito sa bilog na to hanggang dito sa kaniyang neck, hanggang dito sa kaniyang handle, ang tawag dyan ay frame. Okay, from here, ayan, in-highlight ko ha, from here hanggang dito, ang tawag sa kaniya ay frame. Okay, ulitin natin, from bilog hanggang dito sa kaniyang baba, hanggang dito sa handle, ang tawag dito ay frame. Okay, then next, yung string naman dito, ang tawag dito ay stringed area. Okay? Or rocket string. Pwede siyang tawaging rocket string or stringed area. Ito yung meron na siyang mga nylon. Yung mga synthetic nylon dito sa ating raketa. Dito na yun. Okay? So stringed area natin. Next. Dito naman sa ating um, picture, meron tayo dito parang maliit dito na parang nakapalibot sa may ating neck ng ating badminton. Ang tawag doon ay throat. Okay? Throat. T-H-R-O-A-T. Ang tawag doon ay throat. Okay? The next naman yung bilog natin na ito, ang tawag dyan ay head. Okay? Head. Ito yung head ng ating raketa. And then the next one is from here, dun sa ilalim ng throat natin, hanggang dito, ang tawag dyan ay shaft. Okay, sa ilalim ng throat hanggang bago mag-handle, ang tawag dyan ay shaft. Okay, and then the last one, itong pinakahawakan ng ating raketa, ang tawag dyan ay handle. Okay po ba? So ulitin natin, pag sinabi natin bilog, itong bilog na to, ang tawag dito ay head. Pag sinabi naman natin itong mga strings na to, ang tawag dyan ay stringed area or rocket strings. And then yung dito sa so may nakapalibot sa ating shaft, ang tawag doon ay throat. And then yung ating um, parts ng ating raketa na nandito sa ating ilalim ng throat hanggang bago mag-handle, ang tawag dyan ay shaft. And then dito sa ating hawakan, ang tawag dyan ay 
handel. So, para mas lalo nyo maintindihan, ito yung picture niya. Okay, ito yung sinasabi ko sa si inyo kanina na throat. Ito yung parang bumabalot doon sa bakal o doon sa shaft mismo. Yung throat na tinatawag. So, yan ang ating different parts of the Rocket. And kung mapapansin nyo kanina, mas nag-focus ako dito sa string area. May sinabi ako dito synthetic nylon. Okay, so now let's move on to the strings in rocket. Okay, so the strings in rocket, most strings are made of synthetic um, synthetic such as nylon. No, no? So, but world-class players used lab. But this lamb is more expensive than synthetic nylon and it has a disadvantage. Why? Because of a short lifespan when strung tightly or not protected from moisture. Okay? So, mas mahal na nga yung lamb, mas mabilis pa siyang masira. Unlike sa ating strings or sa ating um, synthetic nylon or synthetic strings na tinatawag. So, strings diameter um, range from 19 to 22 gauge, ano? but most competitive players prefer 21 to 22 gauge strong string at 14 to 15 pounds of tension that provides power and control. For school and recreational use with 20 gauge string at a tension of 12 to 13 pounds is adequate. So, that is the string in our rocket. Okay, so ulitin natin, mas prefer ng ating mga um, players na ang gamitin ay, yung ibang mga players ha, ang mas prefer nilang gamitin ay yung lamb. Dahil mas pabor sa kanila, mas quality ito, no? Unlike sa ating synthetic nylon. Pero may kamahalan, may disadvantages din naman yung lamb. Medyo may kamahalan nga lang siya at medyo mabilis din siyang masira. Unlike sa synthetic nylon. Okay, so class, now let's move on to our last equipment used in badminton. So that is the shuttle cock. So a shuttle cock, or kadalasan tinatawag din itong shuttle or birdie. Okay, it is a high drag projectile with an open conical shape. No? So the cone is formed from 16 overlapping feathers embedded into a rounded cork base. So like what I said before class, it is made from 14 to 16 goose feathers that are placed in a leather cork head made of either plastic or nylon. So additional lang class, ano, the cork is covered with thin leather or synthetic materials. Synthetic shuttles are often used by recreational players to reduce their cost as a feather shuttle break easily. These nylon shuttles may be, may be constructed with either natural, natural cork or synthetic foam base as in plastic skirt. Okay, so that is the different equipments and facilities used in badminton. So, I know naman na nakinig kayo sa discussion ni Sir RJ, no? pero balikan lang ulit natin kung ano anong mababa yung mga different equipments and facilities used in badminton. So, are you ready? Let's start! So, ano nga ba yung unang equipment na ginagamit sa badminton? As Sir RJ said kanina sa kaninyang video. The first one is followed by and then the third one is how about the fourth one and then the last one is okay so that is the five equipments used in badminton so i hope marami kayong natutunan from part one and part two ng ating video na i-discuss na ni sir rg kung ano ibig sabihin ng badminton pati yung history ng badminton and kanyan lang sa ating part two na i-discuss na ni sir rg kung ano yung mga different equipments and facilities used in badminton. So, umaasa ako na marami kayong naisulat dyan sa notes ninyo, no? Dahil magagamit nyo yan one of these days. Okay, so that is our video for today. So, thank you for watching class, ano? So, magkita-kita tayo sa susunod na series ng ating online kwentuhan because I'm sure na mas exciting yung susunod nating video. Kung exciting na itong video na ito ni Sir RG para sa inyo, mas exciting pa yung susunod natin video. So, magkita-kita tayo sa another series ng ating online kwentuhan. Bye, everyone!